Windows account, okay. So I guess we gotta start, I start pressing everything. Okay, somehow I knew the items would come. How did you know? I respect the prosecutor's basic uh, up, uh, abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods are uh, will always lead to tragedy. <laughs> the lunch lady's un uninformed opinion is duly noted. I love how he bows. It's like, oh, well, you're a horrible person. <laughs> Given that they are used to erasing inconvenient evidence uh, at their whim. Killing off the detective that uh, knew too much is merely an extension of that. Miss hmm. Starr, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. Is she allowed just to ask her questions from the sitting there? <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> she is. <laughs> okay. And if I had, uh, hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there, I'd still be one. Laid off? She was fired. No, she was laid off. Oh, not tech. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Well, laid off means you don't have to, have to have done something bad. You fired means fired. you did something bad. Yeah, fired. It's like, yeah, you're fired. Leaves you laid off is like, oh, we don't have enough room in staff, so we're gonna yeah. let you go. That said, I'm a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. <laughs> of course. I love that. Prosecutors are nothing but worms. They're horrible people. My testimony is unbiased. Very well! No bias seen here. I don't even know what that word means. You make it you, Miss Star. <laughs> I love the judge. He's such an idiot. I hold it. This boyfriend, he's a detective? Not that boyfriend, the security guard. <laughs> Not that boyfriend. The that boyfriend? You have several? Guilty. Yes. This boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? <laughs> that is weird. What a question for the judge. And yet another boyfriend um, position is still open for applicants. <gasps> I'll stick with the lunch, thanks! <laughs> Peace, right, so like, Peace like raise his head. I, I want to be in that position! Jump. Okay. <laughs> Note yourself, the judge had to think before replying. The security guard room in a lot in a block. It's the second level to, uh, so you can see everything from there. I love how she has multiple boyfriends. I have a position open if you were willing to fill it. To fill in my open position. How are the other boyfriends okay with her uh, cheating on them? She's just a whore. I think that's just the point we can have gotten by this. She's just a whore who makes lunch. Whore who makes lunch. <laughs> like, what are you saying? It's like a jingle for a TV show. Whore that makes lunch. <laughs> New on CBS this fall. Oh. She likes to sleep around the block and likes to give out delicious snacks. <laughs> Whore with whore that makes lunch. <laughs> Friday that? nights at nine on CBS. Very what? Oh. Very funny. Sorry, that's TV. Oh no, very funny. Yeah. <laughs> very funny. <laughs> but it's see on TV on on CBS. Yeah. When you're here, you're family. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that would be the room with the security sign. Uh -oh. Actually, knowing Foxy probably would make it. Oh, I have yeah. a Foxy show. Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B Block. So she was in B Block when she witnessed the crime. Okay, that's not good enough. Sent something. Your friendly home detective is working. Maybe it's your hormones. Hold it! You said something! So you're saying that you had a premonition of the murder? Actually, wait, hold on, hold on. Um, Angel Star, 20, 31, nope, too old. <laughs> nope, too old. I don't like him underage. That's my rule. <laughs> it felt like, how would you say... Oh yes. It was like a feeling you get when you view a pumpkin uh, 
Chuck. Chuck. Chuck full of seeds. Chuck full of seed. Okay. You know that feeling? <laughs> when you look at a pumpkin, it's like, there's seeds that, in there. Yeah, <laughs> he just opened your pumpkin, you're like. It's basically yeah, saying it's uh, a very gross feeling. Uh, there's like, oh, there's seeds in there. I, my, my feeling is I can probably make a snack out of those. You can wash them off, dry them, put a little seasoning, a little salt, yeah. and then it'd be a nice snack. Bake them, put a little seasoning. Mm -hmm. it's, it's very good. My dad made those before, they're actually pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Good. We're Actually, on the same page. Yeah, we're on the same page because I honestly don't know what that feeling means either. Speaking of a detective instincts, wasn't the victim, Mr. Bruce Goodman, also a detective? Yes. Well, he was like a young cheese. He smelled funny. Well, no. His his theories are all full of holes. I think that's why He's I from think. France. Okay, actually, he does have a good one. Uh, young cheese? A pale white cheese, not yet tangy, uh, with experience on the streets. A greenhorn. I don't want my cheese on the street. And I don't want to have greenhorns. <laughs> mm, I, of course, am hard, yellowed, sharp as a tack. Uh huh. Did you tell yourself that, Judge? I bet you stink too. <laughs> That's cute. I don't know. I bet you stink too. Hey! Wash your mouth! I, to be fair, I washed my beard last month. In any case, there were, uh, in the lot, I felt something stirring up in the back of my mind. Like, jeez, that was a totally important dialogue. This is why I first saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. By garish car, you mean? Oh my God, Mr. Edgeworth's car, yes. <laughs> so I was right. That's what garish means. Well, Mr. Edgeworth. Incidentally, the knife with the uh, uh, which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth's, wasn't it? Uh, indeed it was. <laughs> he killed someone. Hmm, what an odd case this is. And the person you saw, are you sure was an offended and not Edgeworth? <laughs> I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. You know, it could have been Edgeworth. Edgeworth has a nice rack. I gotta go thank, thank you, Your Honor. <laughs> I'm certain it was her. If she's telling the truth, we're doomed! Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always complain. Yeah, that's how the law works. <laughs> Witness! In your testimony, you clearly stated the following! Prosecutors are nothing more than worms! Ergo! You are a biased witness! You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself uh, in a future, Rookie. Actually, that's kind of a fact. Huh? Rookie! <laughs> Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. I'll fry you uh, like a fritter crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. That sounds like me. I'm delicious like a fritter. That, that was inspiring. Or a threat. But inspiring. Because <laughs> you can't do it. I believe I heard that tagline somewhere uh, elsewhere. You can't uh, cry plagiarism. <laughs> I may be uh, regulated. Uh, to the lowest post of a uh, lunch lady, but my instincts are honed. Ooh. Uh-oh. A photograph? You took this? A moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes uh, took uh, over and snap. I took a picture. In fact, one of my launch bosses is bridge uh, with a camera. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging it around your neck. Uh, this is my first time seeing this photograph. I, I would love if the judge's, judge's lunch was actually the, the camera. <laughs> this caviar's really crunchy! <laughs> no photos in the courtroom. Oh. You think I show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. Um, here's that bias thing coming back out again. 
If I, I can literally just make a list of every time you're biased, and you'll be like at five already. <laughs> eh. My boyfriend works in the photography division at Criminal Affairs. Which one? How many do you have? 69. Which division? Well, this is most certainly the defendant. And not Edgeworth. Prime for the court record. Uh-oh. That is undismakably. Lana Sky. So what was the defendant doing at the time? Stabbing someone. Da, da, the boy, a knife da, in her right hand. Da, 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 da. Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, it said right hand, right? Yeah. Right. Hold on, um. And right hand. Well, she's holding the trunk and her. Where is her right hand? Right hand um, is look, it's there's no hand coming out of the sleeve. Actually, yeah, um, the right hand is. Um, covered by the jacket. No, it's. Um, oh, I would have to get up. Look, there's blood on her on her shoulder. I would have to get up and point out where it is. I can kind of see it over there. Yeah, it's. Oh, it's like it's sticking in. I guess it's yeah. in her middle. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. It's coming into oh, I her see. middle. Okay. Uh, but there's a lot of blood coming. Oh. Tell me more about this knife that the suspect was carrying. Well, I'd say the blade was about 10 centimeters long. Is that right, Mr. Edgeworth? Is that your knife after all? Uh, ahem, yes, that's about right. <laughs> His blade is only 10 centimeters. Prosecutors are by nature well versed in the location of man uh, vital organs. Does that count as biased or is that kinky? kinky. Vital organs. Um, I would say, yep, that's a bias. Check another check on the list, Emma. She's freaking biased as hell. I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg uh, for my egg salad surprise set. What? Now available at Lunchland, only $4.99. Lunchland. You can testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean a person. Uh, well, there you it's go. unburned. Hmm. Unburned. Perhaps a chicken salad uh, set would have been a better metaphor? So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? Well, I want to hear more about a chicken salad. That was the point tip. One of the point tips. Not the, not the blunt edge. <laughs> it's not stabbing very well. Ow, I, I keep my, stabbing myself in the my face. Hand. Yeah. Wait, didn't she have a bandage on her hand? Yeah. She does actually have a bandage on oh, her yeah. Tell the court why you didn't try to stop this criminy crime. crime. You did see her raise the knife to strike, no? Hmm. The defendant has a point. <laughs> um, <laughs> unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Hmm, I wonder what she could do with that knife. She's holding that knife up. What's she gonna do with it? What's she do? Oh, he's already stabbed. It's too late. Never mind. I thought she was gonna cut a birthday cake with it. How convenient. That she didn't stab. How conveniently it was too late. Uh -huh. Too late. It's too late to turn back now. I would, oh, oh. Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. Bring it down. That looks. The knife looks longer than ten centimeters in the picture. Whatever. I. I see. It's only a flesh rune, Mr. Wright. We can make it. <laughs> you said it again. You said that before! Any other references for money python you have in your purse? Scientifically speaking, Miss Star's testimony is flawless. Oh, I remember that line from Money Python. I gotta go watch the movie again. Sounds pretty fatal to me. What do we do? Is it is this it? Is my sister guilty? Let's just keep our heads cool and press the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panicking next to me makes me calmer. <laughs> Don't smile like that! I'm looking at your butt, that's why I'm smiling. I got a picture of Phoenix Wright with glasses, dead ass.
I don't see anything immediately weird with that photo. Her right side is bloody, but as soon as she stabs somebody, she would have blood on her. Yeah. Why is her hand like that? Though? Yeah, her hand Injured. is really weird. Uh, wait, hold, wait. Is that? Hold on. Let me look through it again. Okay, I'm gonna wait a little lunch away for it. Saw something. The wife I saw that's her garbage car. I was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Goodman's chest. Okay. Well, there's okay, some prints Goodman's, on the Goodman's ID. Yeah, she has no prints. There's no prints on there. Found in Edward's toolbox. I could parking lot. And I'm pretty sure it has nothing to do with this particular <laughs> moment right now. I wish you could organize stuff and go like, this stuff isn't necessary, let's look at this stuff. Yeah. Death due to the blood wound. One knife wound. Victim's memo. Wait, the victim's poem. Found in card from four to five here. Um, oh, he wrote this when? It doesn't. Unfortunately, it doesn't say when. Yeah. It says six seventy five twelve two. Whatever the hell that means. Probably last guy called at five eighty on the day of the murder. There's no record of the call, right? It's just we know that it's, that's who she called. Yeah. Um, parking lot. I'm really stumped right now, actually. I legit don't know. The only thing Telephone. I can think of is how would she see, <clears throat> like how is she sh she's so sure about the stabbing if her mm -hmm. arm wasn't through the sleeve, <clears throat> but um, it was kind of hidden. But that's kind of not that. Do you think that's what they want us to go off of? The fact that her right hand's hidden? Mm -hmm. well, well, like that's the only thing I can potentially think of. Yeah. We have five exclamation points. You want to give it a shot? Sure. Why not? Um, here, let's turn the volume up to you when it's out here. Look. Time for a very uncertain... OBJECTION! Okay.